Well, hello, beautiful souls. It's your girl, Jane, coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be all about my Barbie perfumes, what fragrances I think she would wear, and the, the color pink, of course. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I think Barbie would wear, then go ahead and just keep on watching. I can't even do my normal intro because my son is literally screaming Bloody Mary upstairs. He's in his separation anxiety stage, so we're gonna... We're trying to figure this out. But I wanted to go ahead and film this video because I asked on my community tab what content you guys want to see because I've been having like a creator's block lately and I don't want to post things that you guys aren't watching. So I got a comment saying that she wanted to see what my recommendations for Barbie are or what fragrances I think Barbie would wear, my Barbie perfume. So yeah, here we go. If you are new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jane. Welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the family and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from moi now let's hurry up and get into it because he's not happy so the first fragrance i'm going to talk to you guys about today is my scent of the day and i really feel like barbie would love this fragrance especially for this time of year being the summertime she can go on her yacht and things like that first thing i want to talk to you guys about is kaoli's utopia vanilla cocoa 21 this fragrance you guys is so beautiful it's sweet it's tropical it's coconutty it's floral it really gives you vacation vibes with that coconut it's really really nice but it's sweet and creamy it's pretty now with this fragrance in particular I feel like this is the type of scent that I like to reach for if I'm on a vacation or if I want to get that vibe if it's really hot outside and I want something that's sweet but I also kind of want something a little bit tropical this is something that I gravitate towards and something that I love about Kaylee fragrances in general is that you can layer them with each other layer them with other fragrances you can layer anything with anything but I find that it's really easy to layer Kaylee fragrances with other Kaylee fragrances and this one is one that I love to layer with other fragrances like of course vanilla 20 you can layer everything with vanilla 28 but I really like to layer this with Eden Juicy Apple because it really gives this tropical vibe something a little different like something a little bit fruity and juicy which I love and it adds a little bit of freshness so on the top you get some honeysuckle along with some pear blossom some lemon and also some coconut so I really like the opening of this fragrance you really get that zestiness but it's really sweet and creamy with the coconut I think the pear blossom adds this floral aspect which is gorgeous and then as the fragrance dries down that's where you get those florals so you get some gardenia with some jasmine which adds some freshness along with the ambrette and ambrette kind of gives off this muskiness which is gorgeous and you also get some tuberose which is a nice fresh tuberose i don't find it to be too creamy but it is very nice it's fresh but it's not endolic it's not you know heady at all which is something that i love about the florals in this scent and then in the base you get some sandalwood some musk and some vanilla you can't go wrong with this fragrance this is a pretty girl scent in my opinion and i think barbie would love this when she goes on her yacht when she goes on vacation this gives me Barbie vibes but in a more tropical summer way so this is my scent of the day and this is my first choice which is Utopia from Kaylee the next fragrance or dare I say fragrance combo actually only one of these are technically pink but I love these together as a combo because they give a vibe this is for the sustainable clean beauty Barbie and this is sparkling sugar and radiant nectar from clean beauty you guys this combo is everything they're pretty on their own but together this this is the combo to have I absolutely love sparkling sugar this is a sweet floral scent it has some freshness to it it gives you a gourmand vibe because it has this like sugary sweetness it's so so delicious and then over here with radiant nectar you have this gorgeous floral musky slightly sweet scent it gives you like skin scent vibes but it also has this nice oomph to it which I really really like so with these two fragrances I love layering them together I love how they both have ambrette seeds and muskiness and sweetness and woodiness but the thing that differentiates them the most to me in my opinion is that sparkling sugar is a little bit more sugary it has that sugary sweetness it's so gorgeous you get that pink sugar note along with the peach nectar it's really really pretty I love the blonde woods along with the white musk and the tonka bean so it adds this little powderiness to it but overall it's very sweet and sugary it's very pretty very flirty and layered with this fragrance here you get some carrot seeds and, and bread seeds like I said you also get some woodiness in this fragrance as well and some musk this is amazing like these two together are perfect and they're a clean beauty brand cruelty free all that good stuff so this is my conscious barbie and i'm 
loving this combo. The next Barbie we have is my bougie Barbie, my luxury Barbie. This is Barbie shopping on Rodeo Drive and she's wearing Delina, of course, from Parfums de Marley. If you know, you know. This Barbie is the Barbie who loves the finer things in life, mm, but she's approachable. She's still very nice and still very humble, which is something that I love about this scent. Not only is Delina fresh and fruity, but she also has this musky quality to her. She's absolutely beautiful on the skin. I love wearing this fragrance so, so much and I love the woodiness that she has. So she has that unique opening that's very tart and fruity, but as she dries down, you get those florals and you get that muskiness and a little bit of sweetness as well, which is something that I love. So of course this fragrance opens up with that tart rhubarb. You also get some fruity lychee and some bergamot in the top. As the scent dries down, you get that gorgeous, gorgeous rose. And that's really what stands out the most to me is that beautiful rose. It's not your grandmother's rose, I'm trying to tell you. You also get some peony and some vanilla, which is stunning. And then in the base, that's where you get that cashmere that vanilla and that musk so this is for my luxury Barbie and you guys she smells incredible this fragrance lasts all day and I'm telling you like this fragrance is so beautiful layer this with the body cream the hair perfume oh my gosh you're gonna fill up a room so this is Delina from Parfums de Marley next we have my gourmand Barbie my delicious edible Barbie the Barbie who loves to smell like a treat and this fragrance is velvet vanilla from Mansara you guys I have talked so much about this fragrance and I'm telling you she is worth every single penny whether you buy her full price or buy her discounted you can use my link if you want her discounted this fragrance is just beautiful it's gorgeous it's sweet it has this gorgeous tuberose note that kind of gives off this bubble gummy vibe it's vanillic it's floral it's just everything that you want but still smell deliciously gourmand and edible so 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 beautiful i absolutely love this fragrance and it lasts all day this is a compliment getter okay if you want compliments from all genders please spray this fragrance on and everyone is going to smell you and compliment you i'm telling you so this fragrance fragrance has a lot of notes but what I get the most in the opening is a little spice from some pink pepper you also get some mandarin so you get this citrusy vibe and then you get some black currant and then as the fragrance dries down that's where that bubble gummy tuberose comes through but you really smell that tuberose in the opening as well along with the citruses and the fruity notes you also get some other florals like rose and neroli and jasmine along with that tuberose in the mid and then in the base that's where you get that musk along with some vanilla so I'm telling you this fragrance is beautiful it's absolutely stunning. This is the type of fragrance that I would wear if I don't know what to wear, but I know I want to smell good. I know I want my fragrance to last all day and I know I want to smell delicious. That's what this fragrance is right here. You guys, if you want to be an edible Barbie, if you want to be a gourmand Barbie, then this is definitely the fragrance to go for. So this is Mansara's Velvet Vanilla. And last but certainly not least, we have my Barbie baddie on a budget. And this is Cherosha 68 from Sol de Janeiro. I absolutely love this fragrance and I'm telling you like she is just the perfect grab and go, don't even think about it, easy reach fragrance. This is for the Barbie who is on a budget but she still wants to smell good. She wants something that's signature scent worthy. This is definitely that. And I love the body cream that comes with this because you can layer it and allow this fragrance to perform a little bit better. And you can use this as a hair perfume. So this is like Barbie on a budget who wants a one and done and you can just do it all with it, just spray it all over go to town and she's beautiful so this fragrance is a sweet fruity fresh scent it also has this nice floral touch it has a little bit of muskiness it's so so pretty if you guys have not checked out my Sol de Janeiro ranking video I'll leave that up in the eye in the sky and I talked in depth about this fragrance so I'm not gonna go in detail about the notes and things like that y'all can just watch that video after this one but you guys I'm telling you she is so so pretty people say that she smells like Baccarat Rouge 540 which I feel like every Everyone says everything smells like Baccarat Rouge 540 at this point. She doesn't. She kind of has a vibe, but I wouldn't say she smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. She has more of like a fruitiness to her that this fragrance does not have. So yeah, this is absolutely stunning. Love this fragrance. Check out my review on the whole house if you want to see my thoughts on this fragrance and where it ranks in my full Sol de Janeiro collection. So this is Sol de Janeiro's Charosa 68. If it seemed like this video was rushed, it was. <laughs> 
I hope you guys don't mind that. Again, thank you all for giving me the feedback on my community tab about what fragrance videos you guys want to see from me or what content you guys want to see from me. I'm going to be going down the list because I love the ideas that you guys came up with. I think maybe we should do this more often, like my supporters pick my video type of thing because I loved getting that feedback from you guys. It made me feel so connected and it made me see what you guys really want to see from me. So one, thank you guys for commenting and letting me know what you wanted to see. And two, thank you so much for the great ideas because my mom was blown. So yeah, since Barbie is popular, she's the girl right now. I thought, you know, take the advice from you guys and make this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video because I had so much fun making it. Mind you guys, this isn't my full list because I'm not home. I don't have my full collection with me, but you better believe when I get home, I would love to do something scenting characters and things like that from TV shows or anything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video because I had so much fun making it. If you are new to my channel, I do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me into the end or whatnot. And for today's video, please leave me the pink bow emoji so I know you guys made it until the end. Thank you guys so much again. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you all in the next one.